Hey everybody, it's Liz here and I've got another project to share with you. This time I decided to alter a bottle. I've been wanting to alter one for the longest time and I just haven't, uh, I don't have any bottles. <laughs> so I just picked this one up at like um, uh, the Dollar Tree. It was one of those message in a bottle type things. You know, dollar, picked it up and stuff. Um, I really wish I had one of those fancy bottles. We have some. But, you know, of course, we're not big drinkers. Well, I don't really drink, and my husband hardly drinks. So it's like we have the bottles, and they've just been sitting there for years, and they're really gorgeous. I'm almost tempted to just dump out the alcohol, you know, and use the bottle, but I think my husband will kill me. So I really didn't have a bottle to work with. I had to work with this little one. But um, what I did is um, the inspiration for this bottle came from this gorgeous bottle I saw on Etsy. And... Um, it was for sale, and I can't remember how much it was, but it was just absolutely gorgeous. It had this beautiful texture, and I have no idea how she created it, but I just looked at it, and I thought maybe I could kind of do some experimenting and see what I can come up with. I just really wanted that texture, and um, I was working on this a couple of weeks ago. I showed it to my husband, and he made a weird face, <laughs> and I thought maybe it's too weird, so I actually wasn't going to share this at all. But I just started playing with it yesterday, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to finish it. And I really like it. And in the end, that's what matters, right? As long as you like it. So I thought I'd share this with you and see what you guys think. So, anyways, this is just a regular bottle. Um, like I said, I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. And what I did to get this gorgeous texture, and the camera is not doing any justice to the texture, but I have to tell you. Um, all I did is I took little strips little pieces of music sheet paper and I mod podged it all over the bottle. Let me show you on the back. And then after I did that I sealed it again with the Mod Podge and I used like a lot of stuff to get this texture because the bottle that I saw in Etsy was just absolutely gorgeous. And um what I did, let me bring it in closer so you could see, I used cheesecloth, bits of cheesecloth pieces of lace, you guys can see that right there, some tool, and, you know, strips of um, book pages. I Mod Podged all that stuff on the bottle once I had sealed it. Um, you know, with music sheet paper and the Mod Podge, I added all that all over the bottle, and it's gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. My husband thought it was weird. I don't know. <laughs> But I really like it. I love how, you know, you could see bits of the lace and then, you know, the cheesecloth and then there's tulle and it just, I, I really like it. And um, once I Mod Podged everything on there, I went ahead and gave it another coat of Mod Podge to seal it. And then I went ahead and spritzed all over the bottle using a couple of Lindy Stamp Gang um, colors. I used um, three different colors. And these have been my favorite lately. I've been using a lot of them lately. And it's just, you know, the Clam Bake Beige that I used. And I don't have this in a sprayer. So all I did is I just took a medicine dropper and I sprayed a little bit into, you know, one of the little mini misters. And you can use that. So I used that one, that color. I used the Cape Cod Coral, which I really like. And then I also used the T-Bird Turquoise. Beautiful. So I used those three colors just... You know, random spritzes all over the place. Here's some of that blue, and then there's a little bit of that coral color up here, and the clambic beige all throughout. And it just, I don't know, I really like it. I think it came out really pretty. Love it. And so once I spritzed, you know, all the colors on there, then I went ahead and used some gesso in places. As you can see, there's some white showing through. Very neat. And let's see, then I went ahead and I used some trim. Up here, I used this crochet trim that I had in my stash. I used that around the bottle. And then I also used this seam binding. This is some seam binding that I um, stained with the Vintage Photo Distress tame Stain. And I really like the way that came out. It's really pretty. So I just um, used the trim here and some seam binding on top. And then up here, this is a button. It's just a vintage button, you know, in the little button packs that you can pick up at Joann's or Michael's. And all I did is I just cut off the shank and I hot glued it on here. I really like it. It's really pretty. So that is that. And let's see, here we have some chain. I just used some chain and I knew I wanted to, you know, dangle a couple of things here. And so let's see, we've got this little um, 
Then these are the facets from Tim Holtz, and I just used some music sheet on the back of that, and I glued it with gl uh, glossy accents. I've got a little pearl and a cute little bird. This is little Seven Gypsies bird. Very cute, and it's all in the antique gold, which I really like. Very pretty. And this image, I just printed it off the internet. And um, when I had adhered all the music paper, this was the second thing I adhered, so I really should have said that first. But what I did is I just ripped it in places. I, I adhered it with the Mod Posh, and I sealed it with Mod Posh. And then that way, when I placed all my laces and my um, tool and cheesecloth, it covered part of it. And then there's some gesso on her as well. I used some gesso and then I rubbed it real quick with my fingers just so a little you know bit of it would show. I didn't want her all covered up because I think she's so pretty and cute. And then up here I just have some flowers. This one's a Recollections flower. It was white and I used the uh, Cape Cod Coral to color it and then I applied gesso to the tips of the petals. And then these are two little I Am Roses flowers from my stash. I, I ink them with the uh, clam bake beige, just very lightly, and then I also gesso the tops of them. Very pretty. I love this part right here, where the lace is showing. I think that's really nice. It like the way it frames the image. It's really pretty. And these are just little chit chat stickers from Tim Holtz, and it shows, um, ink the edges with vintage photo, and it just says cherish the love, and I like that. So it's very pretty. And down here, I just have some more little crochet trim, and I just glued that on there all around the bottle. Very nice. Look at all this texture. It's so pretty. I like it. I don't know if it's weird or not, but I really like it. And like I said, I wasn't going to share it because, you know, sometimes you don't know how, you know, people react to it or whatever if they think it's just ugly. But <laughs> I really like it, guys. And like I said, sometimes that's what matters, right? Uh, as long as you like it, you did the work, and if you love it, why not? So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I love this bottle, and um, of course I think it would have looked a lot better if it had been, you know, a nice big fancy bottle. I only had one other bottle to work with, and it was this one. See, but I can't bear to alter this. Um, my husband and I have this for um, New Year's, and it's a gorgeous bottle. And guys, these are hand painted on there, so these are, I mean, beautiful. I can't, I can't bear to cover that up, and it's a really big size, but. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I think it's so pretty. I just couldn't do it. So <laughs> I had to go get one from the store. But anyways, guys, I hope you like my project. I had a lot of fun, um, and I really love the texture. So I hope you guys like it, too. And anyway, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, let me know. And uh, hope you enjoy my video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.